While I am only taking my baby steps in attempting to learn Tagalog, I must say that embarking on the journey of learning Tagalog as an American has been a roller coaster ride of emotions, challenges, and triumphs. It's a story not just of personal growth, but also of deep cultural immersion, a way to truly connect with the heart and soul of the Philippines. But why learn Tagalog when English is so widely spoken across the archipelago? I firmly believe that the answer lies in the profound wisdom of Nelson Mandela, the inspirational leader of South Africa who was jailed for a quarter of a century during that country's awful apartheid. He said that if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. But if you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. This philosophy has been the guiding star of my linguistic adventure illuminating the path to genuine connections and understanding. Do it. Don't be shy. Go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons really quickly to spread that sweet, sweet love. The rich kaleidoscope of Philippine languages to appreciate the journey of learning Tagalog, it's essential to dive into the tremendous linguistic heritage of the Philippines. The archipelago is a melting pot of cultures, each contributing to the collection of over 170 languages and dialects spoken across its islands. Tagalog, the basis of the Filipino language, is not just a means of communication, but a vessel of the nation's history, culture, and identity. The history of language in the Philippines is as layered as the islands themselves. Pre-colonial times saw a multitude of languages flourish with each community priding itself on its unique dialect. The arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century introduced new linguistic elements, weaving Spanish words and phrases into the local vernacular. However, it was during the American occupation in the early 20th century that English became entrenched in the educational system and government, marking the beginning of the Philippines' journey towards bilingualism. Embracing Tagalog Beyond the Books Armed with the desire to connect on a deeper level, I quickly discovered that traditional language learning methods with their focus on grammar and structure were not for me. Instead, I turned to immersion, the most natural and human way to learn a language. This approach has not only allowed me to embrace the nuances of Tagalog, but also to live them. Living the language means experiencing the culture, traditions, and daily life of the Filipino people. It's in the bustling markets, the serene countryside, and the warm, welcoming homes of locals. It's in the shared meals, the celebrations, and even the simple, everyday interactions that I find myself not just using Tagalog, but truly understanding its essence. A few favorite phrases. Throughout my journey, I've collected phrases and words that have become my keys to unlocking new experiences and friendships. Saying, joke long po, just kidding, has diffused many a tense moment, turning it into an opportunity for laughter. Counting, isa dalawa tatlo, one, two, three, has helped me navigate markets and local transactions with ease. More than just practical, practicality, these phrases have opened doors to heartfelt conversations and connections. Expressing mahal kita, I love you to someone special, or humorously chiding a slow service with the uh, Billy's kuya my Jollibee grab is getting cold, brings a sense of belonging and shared understanding that transcends cultural boundaries. It means faster older brother or brother and uh, Jollibee is a fast food chain in the Philippines that is known for its fried chicken and spaghetti, which I've indulged in more than once. It's a beloved institution, and the mention of it often brings a smile to people's faces. While Grab is a popular ride-sharing service in the Philippines, similar to Uber in other parts of the world, which you might be familiar with. There's more than a handful of useful phrases that have become my keys to unlocking new levels of understanding and camaraderie with the locals, 
We've already touched on phrases like Joe Kong Po, just kidding, which have saved me in awkward situations, expressions like gusto, mo, gusto komadami, I want a lot, or its counterpart, konti lang, just a little bit. Ayoko na sayo, I don't like you. And saan ka, where are you, have become part of my daily arsenal. And who could forget the romantic plea of Bruno Mars during his concert in Manila? Miss Nakita Mahal. I miss you, my love. <laughs> I can't reiterate enough the simple yet profound Mahal Kita. I love you. The challenges and joys of immersion. Immersion is not without its challenges. The initial hurdles of pronunciation and understanding were daunting. Every misstep, however, was a lesson in humility and a chance to laugh at myself, often alongside new Filipino friends who are more than willing to correct and guide me. Yet the true beauty of learning Tagalog through immersion is in the unexpected moments of joy and connection. It's in the shared smiles and nods of approval when I get it right, the encouragement from locals who appreciate the effort, and the deep, meaningful conversations that would have been impossible without this linguistic bridge. The impact of language on personal growth. Learning Tagalog has been more than an academic pursuit. It's been a journey of personal growth. It's taught me patience, openness, and the courage to step outside my comfort zone. It's challenged my preconceptions and broadened my understanding of what it means to be part of a global community. This journey has also been a reminder of the power of language to unite in a world often divided by words, choosing to learn and speak someone's native tongue is an act of respect and an invitation to unity. The role of language in cultural exchange. My experience has highlighted the importance of language in cultural exchange. Language is the key to unlocking the stories, traditions, and soul of a culture. It allows for a deeper appreciation of the beauty and diversity of our world. Through Tagalog, I've not only learned new words, but have been introduced to Filipino values, beliefs, and the indomitable spirit of its people. Looking forward, as I continue on this journey, I invite you, my intrepid readers, to share in the adventure. How has learning the new language changed you? What have been your challenges and triumphs? Let's celebrate together the power of language to connect us, to expand our horizons, and to bring us closer to the heart of humanity. Learning Tagalog has been one of the most fulfilling adventures of my life. It's opened my eyes to the beauty of the Philippines and its people, challenged me to grow in ways I had never imagined, and reminded me of the profound impact of speaking to someone in their language. To speak Tagalog is not just to communicate, but to connect, to share, and to understand the heart of the Filipino people. So to anyone considering the journey of learning a new language, I say dive in. Challenges are real, but the rewards, the moments of connection, the doors that open, and the friendships that bloom are immeasurable. Learning Tagalog or any language is more than adding words to your vocabulary. It's adding experiences, memories, and connections to your life. It's a journey that speaks not just to the mind, but to the heart. You know what to do, don't be shy. Go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons really quick to show that sweet, sweet love.